Hello, this is Blue Hair and Tarot. I'm going to do a reading for you and your person, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, maybe even just energies for the rest of this month um, and around this full moon coming up. But this is generally about you and your person and what's going on. So we'll just ask for a clear guided message. I do get personal readings in the description box. Go check it out. The Chariot. We've got the Fool. <laughs> the Queen of Swords. Wow. All right. So... You know, you feel, I feel for some of you that you guys want to, you know, normally with the chariot, it's like you want to rush in and go and get your, this person. And maybe like a part of you d does want to just rush in and like have you and your person be together. But I mean, due to some particular reason, um, you're doing the opposite. Like... You're running away. You're running away fast. All right. I'm just going to finish up the other side here. Nice. Will this even all fit in? Does this fit into the screen? Let's do it this way. These cards are bigger than, than other cards. So we'll just do this, 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 and this. They all came out upright except the tower. It's nice. All right, so, you know, you feel like you want to, it's like, I feel like there's two sides to how you feel about them. Like, you want, a part of you wants to just be with them, right, and rush in, but there is this feeling within you that's like, I got to get away from this fast. Wow, the cherry came out again. It's, I think it's like, you want to move after, like, you want to focus on your money and your stability. And I feel like moving towards them, if they were stable, you would do it. But I don't feel like, interestingly enough, it's, there's two sides. There's the part of you that like, if they were stable and it could be victorious to be with them, you would rush towards them but you want stability and you want victory and stability right with the queen we got the queen of pentacles and the six of wands and i don't think that you're feeling like this person can provide that for you so you're rushing really quickly the other way towards um maybe another energy um or towards your money towards your stability and you want success in that. And that's what's important to you right now. Yeah, you perceive them as a fool. You want them, I mean, it's like you might perceive them as somebody willing to have a new beginning, but at the same time, I think you also perceive them as the fool. For some of you, you even, they might try over and over again to come towards you, Aries. <laughs> um, But I feel like they don't have a follow through. I don't feel like there's stability. So I even feel like you perceive this person, they come towards you. They're good at starting new beginnings. They're good at starting up something new. However, there's no follow through. Let me clarify the flow. Nine of Wands. Yeah, I feel like when they come in towards you, the Three of Cups, I think you also think that they might have another person in the relationship, a third party, and that they can't decide between you and them. So they sort of like want their cake and eat it too. 
Um, there is not stability in this because they aren't fully committed. They want new beginnings, but you do feel like they're very foolish. And when they come in, they put a lot of burden on you. I feel like at times they try really hard. I feel like sometimes they think that they, they can commit to you, but they have other people in the picture and they just, they get stuck. They get stuck in indecision. They can't decide what they want. Wow. Let's see their side. The tower in reverse, they do not want to let you go. They do not want to let you go. They're stuck in indecision. It's pretty unfair, this energy so far, what we're getting at is, it's pretty unfair. By the way, roles could be reversed. But yeah, <laughs> they don't want there to be an end, but there is an end coming because I think you're rushing away pretty quickly, okay? And they can't pull, yeah. They feel like you're gonna end it with them. They feel like you're gonna close out the cycle. And they're starting to really see that. And <laughs> whether they're intentionally trying to do it or not with the eight of swords in reverse, and then the, the they, <laughs> they can no longer pull the wool over your eyes. They can't, you know, sing sweet nothings in your ear and t say the right words to get you kind of interested, open towards them. Um, give you a false sense of security and stability with them. Um, they know that they don't have any words to stand on anymore. And they do feel like this is going to end. But they also feel like they don't want it to end. They don't want it. Like the tower in verse is like they're trying to avoid the complete disillusion, dis dissolving of your connection. Okay. They see you as very sexy though with the Knight of Cups. <laughs> um, they're very... They're very taken by your beauty. Um, with the seducer, they almost feel like seduced by your your beauty, your energy, your power too. Because you come across as like really adamant and they find that very alluring. Pisces, I mean Aries, wow. So maybe this person is a Pisces, especially with the Knight of Cups. I just said that for some of you. We could be dealing with a Pisces. There's also on your side, there's there's um, Aquarius energy, Aries energy, and Cancer, Scorpio energy. Mm, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting. Interesting. They feel like... They feel like you're too good for them. I feel like they feel, they see you as somebody who deserves marriage, who wants marriage, and they don't feel like they could provide that. Or you want, they see you as you are, that you're somebody that wants security. Um, but that, that's something that they can't make with you, with the magician clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. They don't, why do they feel like they can't provide that? For Pisces, I mean Aries. That is so weird. Yeah. I just asked why they feel like they can't provide it and then they show Ace of Pentacles. Again, like this is a really positive card. Like they want to provide it. They want to make that beginning with you. They know that that's something you want. They know that you want to build something with stability and security. But I don't feel like they feel like they can... They can do it, but they're so drawn to you. They're so drawn to you. They're so pulled. They're so pulled into you. Um, we got the four of wands in reverse too. It's almost like a twin flame energy that just can't come through. And I think actually with this energy too, Aries, the more you move away from this energy and move towards your own security, your own victory, this person will mirror this out. So the more you're looking away from your own stability, you move towards this willy, wonky, wonky area for stability. It just reflects back that that's the wrong direction in which to find it. Okay. It's like, I feel like you don't even, you're so done with this person, you're cutting them off to the point where you don't even want them to know. Like, I think it gives you a little anxiety in a sense. It's not calming in your mind. It doesn't give you complete peace to just completely leave them in the dust. But 
you really do feel like this person is foolish because this person doesn't see what you guys have together, you know? And I feel like you're, you want to tell them this. You might have told them this before, but you're done. You're done. And it gives you like, I feel like that's what loops around in your mind. It's like, oh, this person, like, you know, we're perfect together, but this person just keeps, you know, it's like if you were to tell them off, you would say, you're so foolish. You always just do um, false starts and you can never follow through and there's no security. There's no consistency in this. There's no balance. There's no faith. There's just nothing. It's just new beginning after new beginning. There's nothing to feed and grow with this new beginning, right? I feel like there's a part of you that wants to say that or it's something over and over your mind, like just so frustrated when you think about this person, but you have cut them off. To the point where you don't even want to know that you're not even declaring to them that you're cutting them off. You're just cutting them off. You're like looking at the divine with this picture. She's looking up and you're just, you're creating a whole new reality that doesn't include this person. Okay. You're declaring to God that they're no longer like a part of your reality almost. That's pretty harsh, but that's what it looks like. Yeah, what you don't, your person doesn't want you to know that they spy on you all the time and they don't want you to know that you are their wish fulfillment. They like to hide it. They like to just stay in a very, very, they, they don't want you to know that they really feel incapable in a sense to, to provide the love that you deserve. They also just don't want to fight anymore. There might have been a lot of fights between the two of you. And they kind of want to let go of the fight because I don't feel like they have what it takes. And they, they don't want you to know this. But they're like letting go of pursuing you or putting a lot of effort in. And they just kind of keep you hanging on. But what they don't want to let you know is like that they're spying on you and that they have love for you. Um, but they, they just can't put the fight in. It's like almost like they don't believe that they can have you and they don't think that they're good enough. Wow. So you're calling it truce here, okay? You're calling it truce. You're ending this cycle, this burden. You're letting it go. You're no longer letting this relationship oppress you or the thought of this person oppress you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're no longer moving towards this energy of codependency. For some of you, this might be a Capricorn. There's just so much addiction involved. This person might have had addictions. Um, the temptation of the devil. You're putting an end to looking in this direction, to looking in the, the cycle of insanity where this person just keeps doing the same thing over and over again, coming in, promising you something to keep you hooked in with the devil energy, to keep you chained and bound to something that is stuck. And that's really what this card represents to me is just getting stuck in almost like a, a circle, a cycle, you know, and there's no up leveling, there's no growing. It's just over and over and over again. It's addiction to the same, you know, spiral cycle, um, whatever, you know, there's no growth in it, stuck energy. And usually it's a downward spiral when it comes to this, if you don't get out, right? So you're putting it, that's an end. This 10 of wands is the end of the cycle of the burden of hanging on to this energy that keeps you stuck, addicted, bound to something that never satisfies. And this person knows he can't be, he or she can't be your wish fulfillment because they don't feel good enough. They don't have that. Um, love to give almost. The seven of wands in the action that they're going to take. Fascinating. Seven of wands is like they're going to go take action. Right when you totally disconnect from them. No, oh, the hermit. Could be a Virgo. And justice, what? Wow. 
They don't think that they're good enough for you. They see you as the queen of wands, but they don't think that they can have the queen of wands, but they want to have the queen of wands. The action that this person seems to be taking or is going to take in the future is to, to leave you alone, to give you the justice that you deserve, um, to stop putting in those hooks, okay? And to let his, his or her heart desires just go. Like, for some, it could be like the first chance of this person changing. So as you move away from them, they move away from playing the games to satisfy their ego and their insecurity, you know? They're like, they're going to go inside. They're going to go inside and see if they have, if they can balance out their karma um, to burn the karma of the same old, same old cycle, right? They're going to release you, the desire of you, the queen of wands, which is how they see you. And that's very Aries. Okay. Um, wow. So yeah, I don't see them moving towards you, but, but v vigorously moving inside. And really reaping what they sow and taking in their life lessons with all of this. Because they, they have to adjust their insecurities. They don't feel like they're good enough for you. That's why they don't follow through. That's why they can't provide. But also, you're learning that you have to be your own pillar of strength and not lean on anything from this person, right? So we're going to do some more cards about your person what they want, what they really want, what they really desire for you in the future. Oh, yeah, like this person in the future, I don't know about right now, really wants to follow true will and not just the little shallow will that doesn't lead them anywhere. They want to connect and align with divine will. You have inspired this person by cutting them off, okay? I mean, you totally are cutting them off. Oh, this is a divine couple. I mean, this is a divine relationship, okay? It's saying you guys are soulmates, okay? And that, the, and that and there will be some time that you guys will come together, you know? And if it's not with this person, you're calling in a harmonious relationship because you're creating that within yourself. Yeah, and you're creating the security that you need with the base chakra, and something new. So for a lot of you, it could be a fellow um, fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Interesting. Yeah, your person is going to have to kind of start seeing, like, going through some shadow work and facing their fears and facing their insecurities. You know, they have their own work to do. Um, so they're going to do some inner work for, in the meantime, like whether you, maybe you guys come together later, like if this is a twin flame type of thing, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Just scratch that I said a label, but it was thrown out there. So take, take what resonates, but it looks like something new is coming in for you. A new passion, passion with music, passion with art, a new career, something that really brings in security because you're really following your career, but it's love coming in. It's harmony. So I feel like for a lot of you, you're going to love what you do. You're going to love like your career or the like the direction in which you're going towards. You're going to find harmony in it. But I also feel like something's coming in for you that's new. Tell me about this new person. This new person will not. <laughs> this is actually the um, devil card in this deck. Um... I feel like it's saying this new person will not be this person coming up next. But regardless of the, of the energy of this, it's somebody who doesn't have that kind of addiction, you know, doesn't have codependency that isn't insecure, but that really has like, let me get another card for that. It's like someone who's let go of those attachments, those insecurities, you know, someone who's been through it like maybe has been through those codependent relationships, who has maybe had addictions, who maybe has gone through what you've gone through in the past. And they're coming in like knowing that, you know, knowing the whole deal with that. Three of Wands in reverse. Um, yeah, that's really cool. Um, this person too, um, 
they don't like kick the can. They just go ahead and they, if, if they speak their truth, if they de desire something, they go after it. They're very, they're good at open and honest communication. There's no manipulation with this person. Um, they might be like even a little bit impatient when it comes to you. Um, but they have a very nurturing energy. They're going to move very quickly. Um, and they, they view you as the empress or they are the empress to you. Like this is a very, very beautiful energy coming in. And it's really like receptive to how you've been receptive to your own path. So what's a good finality card here for you guys? Crown chakra. I know I am a part of source and my life is guided by divine wisdom. And I just feel like you're really embodying that statement. You know, and you're really receiving that you are a part of source and source is reflecting itself back at you. The more you align with really the only thing that's true is your connection to God. So good reading, Aries. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you would like a personal read, my information is in the description box. Feel free to like, share and subscribe and take care.